Coach Cypher with your daily dose of math mastery. So today we're going to go on into the questions for the assessment 2, which is on speed. Alright, the first question that we want to do, and I want to have, I want you to have your question paper at hand so that we can refer to the questions, uh, is question number 1. Question number 1 says that, Chris and Davis were heading towards each other. Now, whenever you have questions like this, you already know one thing. And what is that? You must add the two speeds together in order for you to find the time. So they keep saying, so they say, Chris traveled at a uniform speed of 3 kilometers per hour and Davis at a speed of 2 kilometers per hour. Now, both of them started at 3 p.m. Chris completed the distance in 5 hours and the question are, uh, what was the time taken by Davis to complete the distance and B, at what time will they meet each other and C, when they meet, how far is Chris from his starting point? Pretty simple question, pretty standard question that will come up for the PSLE. So let's work on this right now, okay? So let's remove all these things, okay? The first thing is we have to do is we have to look at our question paper. I'm going to take out mine right now, okay? And I'm going to write down the uh, information that's given. So first off, we have Chris. This is Chris, and Chris is traveling at a speed of um, 3 kilometers per hour. So he's traveling here, 3 kilometers per hour, okay? And then we have the guy called Davis. Now let's use Davis as a blueberry color. Uh, so this is Davis. And Davis is traveling at a speed of 2 kilometers per hour, right? You understand this part? Okay, and both of them started at what time? They started at 3 p.m. Okay. Chris completed the distance in 5 hours. So he completed the distance in 5 hours. Now, what can we tell if we have the distance, sorry, we have the time as well as the speed? We can tell the distance. So all we have to do is take a look at a DST table. Yeah. Draw this very nicely for you. Okay. And now we circle the ones that we have. We have speed, yes. And we have time. So how do we get distance? We multiply the two together. It's very simple. Yeah. So all you have to do is write d is equals to s times t, or in other words, three kilometers per hour times five hours, which will give you fifteen kilometers. So now you know so you know extra uh, one extra information, which is the distance is fifteen kilometers. Okay. Now the question is, what was the time taken by Davis to complete the distance? So the time taken for Davis is equals to since we have, let's use a different color, since we have um, his speed, which is here, and we have the distance, we can actually do it by taking d over s, which is distance is 15, divide by his speed, which is 2, and hence it will give you 7.5 kilometers per hour. Very, very simple, okay? Now, part b, the question asks, at what time will they meet each other? Like I said, whenever you have these kind of questions, all you have to do is add the two speeds up. In this case, you have 3 km per hour and 2 km per hour. Add these two up together. So you write something along the lines of combined speed equals to, uh, let's write S, equals to 3 plus 2, which is equals to 5 km per hour. Correct? And how do you find the time they will meet? All you have to do is, since you have the distance and the speed, is find the time and time is equal to distance divided by speed which is 15 divided by 5 and you will get 3 kilometers okay and hence the answer for for sorry 3 kilometers but 3 hours 3 hours 3 hours from 3 p.m. so 3 hours plus 3 p.m. is equal to 6 p.m. and that's the answer for part B okay and part C can we erase this part here, okay, and for part C, the question is, um, when they meet, how far is Chris away from his starting point? So the question said, so we found out already that the time taken for them to meet is three hours, am I right? Time taken is three hours. Oops, what's happening? Three hours, okay. Chris, at that point in time, will be how far along? Since we have the speed and we have the time, all we have to do is, uh, look here, speed and time, all we have to do is, multiply them together. So we get ta distance equals to 3 times 3, which is equals to 9 kilometers away from the starting point. And it's as simple as that. It's very, very simple. Okay, so that's question number one. We're going to move on to question number two in a different video. But before that, I want to make sure that you guys understand one thing. Now, a lot of you have asked me, why do you always say that um, math is so easy to you? 
Well, it's because of this simple principle. The more I practice, the easier it gets. So repeat after me. The more I practice, the easier it gets. The more I practice, the easier it gets. It becomes second nature. It becomes automatic whenever I see these kind of questions, okay? So all you have to do, all you have to understand is the difference between you and me is that I practice, I've practiced more in the past maybe 10 years than you have in your life, <laughs> okay? So that's all you have to know. Remember, this is as simple as it gets. PSLE is very easy. You guys can definitely get an A or even an A star if you want to. With that, this is Coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.